everybody. I know it's been a long time, but I'm back. And I am going to show y'all some personalized boat leather keychains. If you're interested in seeing how I made these, stand by. Okay, so I saw this project on TikTok, and once I saw this project done on TikTok or in completion on TikTok, I knew I definitely had to go ahead and try it out. So uh, what you'll need is heat transfer vinyl. You'll need faux leather. Now the faux leather the person used in the video was actually from a faux leather purse that she found in the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree does not have those purses, but they do have this faux leather. So if you have a crap, well, I think all Dollar Trees for the most part have the craft section, but some are larger than others. Um, but if your section has the permanent vinyl and the removable vinyl in your section, more than likely you may have the faux leather. Faux leather, sorry. I went to like three Dollar Trees and the last one had the faux leather. The other one had the, just the vinyl and the, yeah, just had the vinyl and the first one didn't have either. So, um, just check your aisles for this faux leather. Now they do sell it on their website, but I believe you have to buy a large quantity. When I looked at it last night, I think it says you had to buy like 24. So just check your website, check your stores for the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 tree now um, and purchase the faux leather because that's what I'll be using for this project. I'll also be using glue. You can, if you have it, heat bond. Um, I have some heat bond here. Um, you can use heat bond, but unless you cut out the um, heat bond to match your project, your offset, which I'll show you in a few on a computer, it won't, to, well, to me, I didn't quite like it with the heat bond closure, so I'll be using glue, but you can if you want to use heat bond, and I'll show you what that looks like on an, um, another keychain. You'll also need keychain hardware, you'll need some scissors, and you'll need a heat press or some type of heating device. So I'll be using this iron here. You have seen me use it on smaller projects, so I'll be using that. I purchased that from Walmart. I believe it was $12.99 a few years ago, and it comes in handy in the clutch. Um, and you'll also need a cutting machine. I will be using my Cricut maker because that is what I have on hand. Um, so you can go ahead and use Silhouette, but I will not be showing you how to um, make the offset and everything on Silhouette because that is not the machine that I'll be using today. Um, I believe that is all the um, items that you'll need to complete this project. If I'm missing anything, I will definitely have it in the description box below. All right, y'all. With all of that said, let's go ahead and get to the computer so I can show you how to set up your keychain. All right, y'all, so we are at our Cricut design space. So the first thing you're going to do is pick some names and pick a font. So once you get that hard part out of the way, trust it is a hard part because picking the right font, I just I can't do it in a, in a short period of time. That's why I'm not showing this to y'all because we would be here all day with me trying to pick out the perfect font. <laughs> so once you have your perfect font up, uh, you are going to, let me go ahead and cut that name because we're going to do one letter, one name at a time. So you're going to take this name here or whatever name you have on your screen and you're going to go to the offset button that's up here. It's next to edit and deselect. So it says offset. You're going to click on the offset button and you're going to make your offset as wide or as thin as you want it to be. So I'm going to... Let's see if I went in the right direction. Let me apply and see how I like that. I think that looks about how I want it. So I am going to go ahead and take my name that's in the middle. So you see my name is highlighted and we're going to weld that together because we don't want to have our HTV be separated. We want it to look smooth and seamless. So once that's done, see it's all welded together. We're gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. So then we're gonna take our offset here, and it's about 4.5 um, length, I mean, sorry, width, and it is 1.857 height. 
So then we're going to take that and we're going to duplicate it. So go ahead and duplicate it and then you're going to take the second one and then you're going to go to the flip button and you're going to flip it horizontally so it's backwards. And then you're going to just move this a little bit over or you can change your zoom from 100% to 75, 50 or 20. Um, but I like sometimes I like it at 75 or 100. But anyway, you're going to take these two, make sure they are aligned. So I just went ahead and aligned it top. I wanted to do it vertically, but um, it's not highlighted for some reason. So I'm not sure why and center vertically will just bring them to the center and then horizontally will bring them horizontally in the center so i just aligned them top so you just want to make sure they are aligned because you're going to end up connecting them you're going to go up here to a shape and you can pick any shape that you want i am going to go with this shape right here all right and then i'm going to resize it so, and I'm just going to make the width, I mean, the height a little bit more. So about right there. And I'm going to take it here and put it in the middle. Once you have the width that you want, I might just make this just a little bit thicker like that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And then I'm going to duplicate that because I'm going to use it again. And the measurement is 0.736 width and 0.597 height. So you can use that if you want to. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and click this one, this offset, the shape, and then the other offset. And then I'm going to go to weld and I'm going to weld them together. And as you see, it didn't matter what color I was going to make it because, um, it uh, welded all as one. So that is done. I'm just going to put that back in here because this is what it will look like right there. And so then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other one. heat transfer vinyl so we want to mirror the um the names but the offset does not have to be mirrored all right and then we're going to hit continue and the leather from the dollar tree is very thin so you should not have an issue cutting it it's actually thinner than the um faux leather i used to make my other um keychain so you should not have any issues with it at all i'm going to go browse and it should be one for leather there we go faux leather paper thin genuine leather metallic leather shimmer leather thin garment leather tooling leather tooling leather tooling leather so all right so i'm gonna put it on thin garment leather just to see how um that cuts the HTV, you'll just cut as whatever HTV you have. If you have glitter HTV, you want to cut that using the glitter HTV. If you have um, hylographic, graphic, I can never say that word, holographic <laughs> uh, HTV, you want to cut it that way and so forth. So just cut your HTV the way you normally would. And I'll see y'all on the other side. Okay, so everything is done cutting. Everything is um, cut out and ready. So these are my pieces. And I think I put it on the screen, but sometimes I forget. So um, if it's not on the screen, I did go ahead and change the setting or the material to uh, faux leather, paper thin. I did cut out a piece with the um, other one that I showed you on the screen, and that kind of chopped up the leather. It, it brutalized the leather so um i would just suggest using the faux leather paper thin it'll cut it'll do two passes and it'll cut out nice and clean so um if i don't if i didn't put it on the screen i just wanted to say it out loud so y'all can hear it but if it's a repeat 
at least you know. Don't put it on that other setting. All right, so everything is cut out. Let me go ahead and weed out my designs really quick. nicely weeded out everything is nicely welded together everything looks pretty now i don't know why um the color kind of transferred onto the transfer sheet i'm gonna cut around that because i'm kind of scared that they'll transfer onto the uh, fabric so i'm gonna be real careful so i'm gonna go ahead and take nope that's not the right one I'm gonna go ahead and take this, make sure I have the right one. Make sure everything is clean off on here. I take my microfiber cloth and just make sure this is clean. All right, and then we're gonna take the heat transfer vinyl and we're going to line it up into the offset. And you want to take your time lining it up because once it's on there, it's pretty much on there. Um, and then you're going to use, I'm going to use a piece of Teflon sheet and cover up all of the leather because it's a little piece hanging that's not covered underneath the um, protector sheet. And then I'm going to put some heat on this for about 40 to 60 seconds, okay? and cool off because that is a cool peel and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the other one all right so it's cooled down so I'm going to go ahead and peel that off if I went across it because I didn't want to melt the leather too much I still wanted the leather to kind of peek through um of course because heat was brought on it you can't see the ridges of the um leather you can still see them in this one but it's not as pronounced as it is on this one. But um, that's why I went across it and didn't just lay the um, heat directly on there. All right, but once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and thread this through. So you'll take your keychain hardware, you'll thread it through, and then you'll match up both sides. And I'm gonna be using Super tacky glue. And then you're going to seal it up. Make sure both sides are even with each other. If any glue comes out, clean it up. And I'm going to let this dry for a couple of hours. All right. Oh, I like that better already. Like, I like this better already. Okay. And then I'm just going to put something light on top of it, like this little wooden box on top of it. Yeah. So this That's is how it looks with the heat bond. The only thing that I will say that I don't like about using the heat bond um, is that if whatever parts are not heat bonded together, like this part right here, um, this part down here, you see that opening right there. And then this in right here are not heat bonded. Now I did put a piece of heat bond here and a piece of heat bond there. Um, I could go back and then put a piece, where was it? Right here, just so that can seal. Um, with those pieces not being sealed, if something grabs onto it, like if you're pulling out, if they're pulling out their purse or anything like that, and something grabs onto it, it can pull this piece up and kind of get bent and it'll look kind of tacky after a while. So um, I don't like that part, but I think I will probably put a little piece of heat bond right here um, to keep it closed 
Yeah, the the end part there, I mean, I could put a little piece of heat bond or I could put some of the tacky glue on there and see if they'll work as well. Because I don't want to put a lot of heat on the leather because um, it can um, melt the leather. This is really cheap leather. This is not real leather, so it's not hefty duty or anything like that it can melt under the heat so i don't want to keep putting it underneath the heat so i might just put the tacky glue on there but i just wanted to show you what this looked like with the um, heat bond versus the glue okay right. y'all so it is nicely dry i think i'm going with the um super tacky glue i did try to use the mod podge on another piece i'm not even going to show y'all that because i just threw it in the trash it because it looked like trash um, so uh, i do not recommend using the mod podge but i will recommend if you see this super tacky glue i don't know i think i got this from walmart maybe or maybe i even got this from the dollar tree a long time ago i don't know but it's nice and thick and it did go ahead and seal this keychain so um if you find it in your store, go ahead and buy it um, because it does work. Also, if you want to use the heat bond, you can also use that. They do have it in pre-made strips, so you don't have to cut it out on this big strip, on this big sheet right here. They do have it in actual sheets where it's easier to kind of lay out and press down. Um, so you can actually use that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the glue and, um, the heat heat um, bond or maybe I'll just do the glue because it's just easier and then I'll just wait, wait for them to dry if you want to you can go ahead and decorate the keychain with a little tassel there that would be cute maybe or a little charm or something like that um I mean this is not the color that would match but if you have any charms or anything like that you can go ahead and add on there or you can just leave it the way it is it's up to you on how you want to um show your showcase your um keychain off but i think i might put a little tassel on here y'all i think i might do that so um but i got a pink with the rose gold i don't know hmm. we'll see so i think i might put a little tassel on there i mean i have a pink one i don't have any more white ones so um i'll just use maybe the pink one for that one and she does like purple so i might add a little purple one on that one i think that's cute so um you can go ahead and decorate it however you want to you don't have to put a tassel if you don't want to put a tassel if you don't want to put a charm you don't have to put a charm you could just use the keychain as is it's totally up to you it is your vision your way to create or anything like that but i think i'm just going to throw a little tassel just for a little pizzazz on there you know what i'm saying anyway y'all um this is the end of my video i just want to say thank you for just staying and by me and supporting your girl um if this is your first time on my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you ended up liking the content in this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also hit that notification bell to be notified when i drop new videos i think i'm out of my crafting funk um i had like a, like i said in my um um Lord, in my YouTube community post, I was having a crafting block. So I think that crafting block has dissipated. And I think I'm going to get back into um, doing what I was doing before and bringing more content to this channel and also content to my um, YouTube group. I'm not YouTube group. Goodness, I cannot talk anymore tonight, y'all. I'm so sorry. But to my Facebook group, Crafting Made Easy. So if you're not in that group, go ahead and subscribe to that group as well. You just go on Facebook, type in Crafting Made Easy, answer the three beautiful questions there, and I'll let you join the group. All right, thank you again for watching this video. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful week. And until next time, y'all, peace.